65-year-old Peter Edwards, a pastor at the Perth Christian Fellowship Church for 30 years, left his home early, leaving his keys on the steps to his house, reassuring others that he was on his way to work. However, it is stated Pastor Edwards did not go to work that day and instead took a bus from Scun to Perth and was last seen getting off the X7 in Stonehaven, Aberdeenshire, seeming to have vanished in broad daylight. With police searches running cold and his family continuing efforts to find him, Peter's out-of-character disappearance remains baffling and concerning to all affected. Pastor Edwards is 5 foot 9 inches tall, with a slim build, with balding grey hair, a beard and sideburns. On the day he disappeared, he was wearing a grey beanie hat, gold-rimmed glasses, a long-sleeved grey shirt with a tie, a black tank top with grey trousers and black leather shoes. He speaks with an American accent, though born in London, but emigrated to the US and lived there for many years until moving to Schoon in Scotland. He has a slight tremor to his hands. He was also seen on CCTV, the last sighting of Peter, to be wearing a cap, carrying a small bag and possibly also wearing gloves. It is known that Pastor Edwards would never usually dress in athletic wear such as joggers or a sweatshirt and would always appear dressed for business. Although his family believe he may have changed his appearance by shaving his beard or dyeing his hair over the time he has been missing. Pastor Edwards is described as a well-liked, humble and compassionate man whose heart for God's people was always appreciated by the congregation and those he came into contact with. When reminiscing on the dedicated Facebook page for Peter, he is also described as someone who enjoyed conversation as he was always make time for those who visited the Christian bookshop he would be working in. There are also many pictures of Peter on the Facebook page of him enjoying outdoor walks along with kind words describing him as a gentleman and a kind and caring man. Senior Pastor Mervyn Milne from the Perth Fellowship said Mr Edwards was very popular amongst the congregation and being very well known through his work at the church supported Mustard Seed Coffee Shop in Perth. On the Friday before his disappearance, he gave a sermon at the church on the importance of hope. Mr Milne had spoken out about the concern for Peter, as well as the strong support in prayers and how many feel something good will come from his disappearance. We've had hundreds of people praying for Peter in our churches and some of our affiliated members in Stonehaven have been actively searching for him at the bus station and train station up there. Peter has four siblings, two sisters and two half-brothers. There is one surviving half-brother who lives in England and another half-brother who lived in England but sadly died in September 2020. Peter's two sisters, Chloe and Dawn, live in the USA, neither of them ever having the opportunity to meet either of their English brothers. Chloe stated that back in 2004, she found their half-brothers after their mother had sadly passed away. Chloe used the documents and photographs that were left behind and put out a worldwide search for them, eventually discovering them residing in England. His one sister Chloe has been named in most articles, speaking of a brother Peter's disappearance and had reached out to us to cover this case via the YouTube channel. The timeline leading up to his vanishing has been traced up to a certain point, but unfortunately from there the timeline ends when he was last seen on CCTV at Barclay Street in Stonehaven departing the X7 bus wearing a cap and carrying a small bag in the afternoon. 
Pastor Peter Edwards left his home early in the morning on the 1st of November and took a number 7 bus into central Perth, getting off at Glasgow Road near the Lovett Hotel at 7.43am. Investigators have disclosed that Mr Edwards arrived in Aberdeen at around noon before boarding the 2pm bus to Stonehaven. He could have gone from Perth directly to Stonehaven, but instead he travelled to Aberdeen and was there for what seems a few hours before leaving for Stonehaven. Peter was reported missing shortly after. Search teams were very quickly deployed, including mountain rescue teams and helicopters, due to the area. Officers began house inquiries nearby on foot, but gave no clue due to the lack of sightings as to why Peter may have gone missing. A tracker dog was used at the bus stop, but no scent was picked up, and there have been no confirmed sightings since. Following the initial reports at the end of 2016, in January 2017 it was last reported that the search for Mr Edwards had gone cold by Police Scotland investigating the case after three months of searching but they continued to seek leads on the mysterious disappearance. Chloe, Pastor Edwards' sister, believes it is possible that he could be in England or elsewhere despite the search primarily covering the surrounding areas of Aberdeenshire and Perthshire in Scotland. However, there has been a fair amount of community efforts to find Peter, with charity groups dispersing digital posters for Peter in train stations, an active Facebook group called Find Pastor Peter Edwards, dedicated to finding Peter, as well as church members in the northeast of Scotland involved in the hunt for Peter for two weeks at the beginning of the case. His family remains hopeful that Peter is still out there and alive and well, and has been in contact with missing groups in Scotland, the UK and internationally, still with no apparent leads presenting themselves. Chloe believes someone was waiting at the bus stop for him with a vehicle and that he got off the bus and into that vehicle and this would explain why no scent or trace of him was found in Stonehaven. It is said as a pastor he would have many friends and other contacts who may have been able to meet or pick him up in the vehicle. It is strange that Pastor Edwards said that he would be going back to work and instead embarked on a mysteriously long journey taking a detour rather than a direct route. Due to this being an abnormal thing for Peter to do, it is complete mystery as to whether Peter willingly relocated or if he had fallen due to the landscape and his age. But the concern remains for his welfare and Police Scotland would like to hear from anyone who may have information on his whereabouts. Police searches have found no trace of him Dogs could pick up no scent and not one person remembers seeing him, so the possibility of foul play could not be completely ruled out until new and solid evidence proves otherwise. It remains a thought-provoking mystery. The question remains, as it does with all active missing persons cases, what happened to Pastor Peter Edwards? With little information and leads on the case, what do you think could have happened? Is it possible that Pastor Edwards has left everything behind and started a new life elsewhere, in Scotland or in England? Could he be living internationally? Does the church know something that we don't? Is it possible Peter could have fallen and come into harm during his trip or been taken advantage of and met foul play due to his kind-hearted nature? Online sleuths can do a world of good through research and we ultimately want to help provide closure for everyone involved so let us know if you find any advancements in the case or know anything that may be of help. Peter, if you were seeing this 
please contact missingpeople.o.uk so they know you're okay and can let your family know. If anyone knows of Peter's whereabouts or has any information relating to his disappearance, whether big or small, please contact police on 101. If you would prefer to remain anonymous, please phone Crime Stoppers on 0800 555 1. Alternatively, the Missing People Charity run a 24-7 helpline where you can phone or text 116 000.